Welcome back to my series where I took one $50 grocery haul and I'm turning that into 20 nutritious, easy meals, five recipes that each serve four people. This is day four of the series. So if you're looking for the grocery list, the information on the ingredients, substitutions, all of that stuff, I will link that video in the description, but it's the first video that I posted on Sunday. And if you wanna find any of the other recipes that I've posted with this series, I'll also link that in the description. So just make sure you're subscribed and you can find everything all in one spot on my YouTube channel. Today's recipe is gonna be a one pot pasta. I love a one pot meal. It just makes life so easy. It's gonna be a one pot creamy sun-dried tomato pasta with chicken. It's gonna be comforting and cozy, but it's still gonna be gluten-free and dairy-free. We're gonna pack some veggies in there. Got lots of protein, so it's gonna keep us full. Let's go over all the ingredients that go into this one. So we're gonna reuse a lot of the ingredients that we already used earlier in the week. That's the way that we get the price to stay low for this series. So we're gonna be using the rest of the chicken broth. I'm using brown rice penne. You can use whatever pasta you want. I find a penne or a rigatoni is the best for this kind of recipe. So that's my recommendation. We're gonna be using about a pound of chicken breast, some more garlic the rest of our fresh basil leaves, the other half of our yellow onion, some more of our coconut milk can, and the rest of our sun-dried tomatoes. We already used half of this, and then we're gonna use the other half today. For pantry staples, olive oil, that's really the only staple other than the spices, very simple. And then salt, pepper, garlic powder, dried oregano, chili powder, and red pepper flakes. So again, this one's super simple. It's gonna be in one pot. It's gonna be so delicious. It's gonna be done in less than 30 minutes, all things we love to hear. There's not a ton of prep for this other than dicing up that half yellow onion. We'll cut up the fresh basil leaves. We'll mince this garlic and that's it. Then we'll get started on the recipe. Okay, we got that little bit of prep work done, and now we're gonna just cover our chicken in some of those simple seasonings. So I'm gonna do a teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of chili powder, teaspoon of dried oregano, and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. This is optional. Then with clean hands, you're just gonna rub the spices in on both sides of the chicken. And it should look like this with spices covering all of the chicken. Now we're gonna heat some oil on a skillet and cook these up. So I'm heating this big skillet over medium heat. You're gonna need a decently sized skillet to fit the pasta. And I'm using the oil from the jar of sun-dried tomatoes as the olive oil here. You could just use two tablespoons of regular olive oil, but why not reduce our waste and use this oil that we already have? Now I'm adding the chicken to the heated oil. I just cooked these for five minutes. On this side, I'm gonna flip and cook for another five to seven. And I'm just gonna use the meat thermometer. It's gonna depend on how thick your chicken is. So meat thermometer is your friend. All right, I ended up cooking for seven minutes on this side, and now I'm gonna remove the chicken from the pan. And the onion's going right in there. And I'm just gonna let this cook down for a minute. And now our garlic. Now I'm just gonna salt this mixture a little bit. There's already a lot of those spices in there from the chicken. And then I'm gonna add the rest of the can of sun-dried tomatoes. Just mix this in. If you have some spices stuck on the pan, no worries, because once you add the broth, that'll come off. Now we're going in with our gluten-free pasta. Give that a good mix. Now we're gonna do three cups of chicken broth. One and a half cups of water. 
and three fourths cup of coconut milk. Now stir all of this and you want the pasta to be fully covered by liquid and it's gonna vary depending on what kind of pasta you use. So just add more water as needed to cover it completely. Now we're just gonna cover it and let it cook. While the pasta's cooking, I let the chicken cool down a little bit and now we're just gonna slice it up into cubes. We want them to be pretty bite-sized. That's it. All right, let's give it a stir. It's almost done. All right, I ended up letting it cook for about 14 minutes total to fully cook the pasta. And look how creamy and glossy this sauce is. I feel like a lot of people don't realize you can just cook your pasta in this one pot kind of way. And it's so much better than just boiling pasta in water. Side note, Trader Joe's brown rice penne really holds up for a gluten-free pasta. Like, none of these have broken. Now we're adding in the cooked chicken. and some fresh basil. My mouth is watering doing this. Okay, Copley. All right, that is it, and now it's time for us to try it. She needs a close-up shot. Oh my gosh. Okay, the smell and the look of this is insane. I'm so excited to try it. I love a one pot meal and especially one like this that has a lot of veggies and protein in it. So let's just dig right in. Honestly, probably one of my favorite pastas I've ever made and I can't believe how easy it was. It's so flavorful. The chicken is the perfect add on. The sun dried tomatoes, it's a little bit salty. The basil, everything is delicious. And then the sauce is light, but it's creamy. So good. I'm dying to just go finish this whole thing. So I'll keep it short. Again, links to the grocery list, the video with all the information about everything that I bought is in the description and the other recipes that I posted so far will also be linked in the description. So head there, make sure you're subscribed and join my Substack newsletter if you wanna get a recap of the grocery list and links to all the recipes all in one spot on Sunday. Follow me on Instagram where I'm also posting short form videos of all of this and TikTok, it's Jenny Eats Good with two N's and three O's. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. This is gonna be tough to beat, one of my favorites and I will see you tomorrow.